I'm here today to talk about what subitizing is and why it is important for your early math classroom. So subitizing is being able to recognize a small quantity of objects or an arrangement of objects without counting them. So just seeing it and knowing how many are there. The most common examples of this would be like dice arrangements or finger patterns, those things you just see and know. So you can just see a dice the five arrangement of a die and know that there are five. Or if I showed you this really quickly, you know that it's three fingers you didn't have to count, that's supertizing. Now that might seem like an isolated skill, but it's really not. It's an important foundational skill for number sense as your kids move throughout the school year and throughout years to come. Supertizing really lays the basis for kids being able to use more sophisticated counting strategies than just counting one thing at a time. It also helps with the beginning of addition and subtraction and number relationships and number bonds and the, how many smaller numbers make up a bigger number. So for example, if you saw the number six in the lines, you might say, you might say oh, there's six, but you might also see three on this side and three on this side, you might see groups of two, three groups of two. So then you start to understand that three, that six is three and three. Six might also be four and two if you saw it more like the four side of a die and then two extras and so on. And this ability to see bigger numbers as smaller numbers really helps when you get into place value and mental math. So for example, if I gave you 35 plus 12, you might then Think, and think to yourself that 12 is the same as 10 and 2, and then 35 plus 10 might be an easier number to think of in your head than 35 plus 12. So you might think 35 plus 10 is 45, and then you add the two more, and then that's 45, 46, 47. Or you might already know that 5 and 2 is 7, and then get 47. So knowing those little, those smaller number combination helps when you get to bigger number combinations in addition and subtraction that you might need in first or second grade onward. There are lots of activities you can do in your classroom, both whole group and small group or mass centers that can really help with subitizing. The first is using dice, using dice in your math stations, using dice for other things and really becoming familiar with those number patterns is a great start to subitizing. Also using lots of finger patterns. I will link to an article below about how using finger patterns is important. And some research into counting with fingers shows that if kids are really familiar with finger patterns when they're younger, the same areas of their brain that light up when they're creating a finger pattern will light up years and years later when they no longer need to use their fingers. So fingers are a great math tool and think being familiar with finger patterns is a great tool for supertizing. Now, a number sense routine that you might like to use in your classroom is called quick images. So it's just like it sounds. In quick images, you show a, a small arrangement of items quickly and then hide it. And then your kids would have to tell you how many they saw and what it looked like to them. So if I showed you this finger pattern and then said, how many did you see? Some of you might just know it's seven. Some might see five and two and use that information to, to figure out how many fingers I was holding up. To make things a little more confusing, there are actually two different types of subitizing, perceptual subitizing and conceptual subitizing. So we can only really subitize about five items consistently, and that is perceptual subitizing. So you see it, you know how many there are, done. Now conceptual subitizing is really seeing groups, like I said, five and two, and then knowing how many those are together without having to count. You knew this, you saw this, but you would not be able to remember exactly how many fingers I had, but if you saw one hand that was full and then two others, that might be easier for you to remember. And then from there you would know it's seven. So perceptual subitizing is just the quick one. You don't need to count. Conceptual is using what you know about smaller number pairs to come together to bigger number pairs. This channel is dedicated to helping you help your students develop number sense. So you can check out this video here to learn about one-to-one -one correspondence. So if you'd like to see more about quick images, you can check out this video here about three ways that you can use quick images in your classroom. I hope this is helpful and I will see you next time.